Hello everyone, welcome back to ByteVigor channel. Today, we're diving into an essential theory in distributed systems, the CAP theorem. As internet applications scale, data storage and processing increasingly rely on multiple distributed nodes. This is where the CAP theorem becomes a crucial guide when designing and choosing distributed systems. The CAP theorem was introduced by computer scientist Eric Brewer in 2000. CAP stands for the three key properties of a distributed system, consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. The theorem states that in a distributed system, it's impossible to fully achieve all three properties simultaneously. You can only pick two. Let's break down the CAP theorem using an example of real-time bidirectional synchronization between two database nodes. Imagine we have two peer database nodes, A and B, that sync in real-time over a high-speed network. Each node can independently provide read and write services to clients. This high availability setup is known as an active-active model. It enhances the system's availability because if one node fails, the other can still offer service. To keep things simple, I'm only using two nodes in this example, but in reality, the system could involve three or more nodes, making it more complex. This is a basic distributed system because the same data is stored on two different nodes, leading to consistency issues. Even in a master-slave setup, where one node is read-write and the other is read-only, consistency issues arise since the same data exists on different nodes. As long as the same data is stored on two or more different nodes, you have a distributed system and consistency becomes an issue. Introducing distribution brings us to the challenges of the CAP theorem. Let's break down these three properties. 1. Consistency, C. Consistency means that data on nodes A and B must be the same at any given moment. In a purely read-only system, there's no consistency issue. The problem only arises when data is modified, that is, when data is written. For example, when client 1 writes data X equal to 1 to node A, this data must be successfully synchronized to node B before the write operation can be considered complete. If synchronization fails, the write request must fail to maintain consistency. Otherwise, the data between the nodes would be inconsistent. Similarly, if client 2 writes data y equal to 2 to node B, this data must also be synchronized to node A before the operation is considered complete. 2. Availability, A. Availability means that the system can always respond to client read and write requests in a timely manner, even when there are network issues between nodes. This ensures the system remains highly available. 3. Partition tolerance, P. Partition tolerance means that the system can handle situations where the network between nodes A and B might temporarily fail, preventing them from communicating. Partition tolerance requires the system to continue functioning even under these conditions. According to the CAP theorem, in a distributed system, you can't guarantee consistency, availability, and partition tolerance all at once. You must choose two. In reality, any distributed system involves a network, and networks can fail, so partition tolerance, P, is something we must accept. That leaves us with a trade-off between consistency and availability. Here are the two main trade-offs. 1. CP system. If we prioritize consistency and partition tolerance, then during a network partition, to maintain consistency, write operations might temporarily be unavailable, sacrificing availability. Two. AP system. If we prioritize availability and partition tolerance, then during a network partition, the system will continue to accept and process read and write requests, but this might result in temporary data inconsistencies across nodes. This kind of system prioritizes service availability, allowing for short-term data inconsistencies. There's also a so-called CA system, but in strict terms, a CA system isn't possible in the real world because network partitions are inevitable. Some argue that a non-distributed system without network partitions can be considered a CA system. For example, a single node deployment of MySQL or Redis can behave like a CA system as long as the node remains operational. Some distributed databases, assuming network partitions are unlikely, like in a single data center, can behave as CA systems under normal conditions, prioritizing consistency and availability while assuming network partitions will rarely occur. When discussing the CAP theorem, 
several related concepts often come up, helping us better understand and apply the theory. 1. Strong consistency. This ensures that all nodes have consistent data at any given time. Before a write operation is considered successful and returns a response to the client, it must be synchronized across all nodes. Strong consistency is critical in scenarios like financial systems and inventory management in e-commerce, where data consistency is crucial. 2. Eventual consistency. Eventual consistency allows for temporary data inconsistencies, but over time, all nodes will converge to a consistent state. Many distributed systems, such as CDNs and DNS, use this model. It's also suitable for scenarios where strict consistency is less critical, but high availability is necessary, like social media likes or video view counts. 3. Tunable consistency. Some systems let users configure and balance between strong and eventual consistency. For example, the Cassandra Distributed Database allows fine-grained control over data consistency through configuration. In e-commerce, order processing often requires strong consistency, while product recommendations or comment systems might only need eventual consistency. Database supporting tunable consistency are worth considering for these scenarios. 4. Quorum. Quorum is a method of achieving consistency in a distributed system. It requires a majority, usually n divided by 2 plus 1, of nodes to confirm an operation, read or write, before it's considered successful. This mechanism helps maintain a balance between consistency and availability. In a network partition, the quorum mechanism ensures that even if some nodes fail or are inaccessible, the system can still reach a consensus and continue processing requests. Quorum is commonly used in distributed databases and distributed lock systems to strike a balance between consistency and availability. Famous distributed consensus protocols like Paxos and Raft support Quorum. In addition to the CAP theorem, there's an extended theory called PACELC, which offers a more comprehensive view of distributed system properties. PACELC states that not only during network partitions must you choose between consistency and availability, but even when the network is running smoothly, else, you must choose between latency and consistency. For instance, Amazon DynamoDB prioritizes availability, AP, during network partitions and low latency, EL, during normal operations. This model more accurately reflects the real-world challenges in distributed system design. As system designers, understanding the CAP properties of common distributed systems is crucial for making informed technology choices. Here are some examples. 1. Zookeeper and ETCD. These distributed coordination services are usually categorized as CP systems. They prioritize consistency and partition tolerance at the cost of availability during network partitions. These systems are ideal for scenarios requiring strict consistency, such as distributed locking services and configuration management. 2. Netflix Eureka This service discovery system is designed as an AP system, prioritizing service availability during network partitions, even if it leads to temporary data inconsistencies. In Netflix's microservices architecture, such short-term inconsistencies in service discovery are usually acceptable, ensuring high availability. 3. Redis Redis's CAP properties depend on its deployment mode. In a single-node setup, Redis can be considered a CA system as there's no partition tolerance issue. In master-slave mode, Redis is more of a CP system, prioritizing consistency during network partitions, potentially sacrificing availability. In cluster mode, Redis leans towards being an AP system, prioritizing availability during partitions, which might result in data inconsistencies. 4. Amazon RDS Amazon RDS in single-node or multi-AZ deployments is typically seen as a CA system. It prioritizes consistency and availability, but in case of a network partition, RDS might sacrifice some availability to maintain consistency. Five. Cassandra and DynamoDB. These distributed databases are classic examples of AP systems, prioritizing availability and partition tolerance. Users can configure the consistency level to adjust the system's strictness, but this often comes at the cost of availability or performance. 
6. Kafka By default, the distributed messaging system Kafka leans towards being an AP system, prioritizing availability while allowing for some data inconsistencies during partitions. However, through configuration, like setting acts equal to all and enabling the ISR mechanism, Kafka can enhance consistency, but it still isn't a fully CP system, as it tends to prioritize availability in extreme cases. 7. Elasticsearch Elasticsearch, the distributed search engine, is more of an AP system by default, prioritizing availability and partition tolerance. However, through configuration, like setting the number of replicas, refresh intervals, etc., it can be tuned to improve consistency, approaching a CP system. 8. MongoDB In a single-node setup, MongoDB is a CA system, since it ensures both consistency and availability without needing to handle network partitions. In a distributed setup, MongoDB is typically considered an AP system, prioritizing availability and partition tolerance, even if it leads to temporary inconsistencies. MongoDB also offers tunable consistency options, allowing users to adjust the balance between availability and consistency based on their needs. In conclusion, the CAP theorem helps us understand how to balance consistency, availability, and partition tolerance in distributed system design. Understanding these trade-offs is crucial for designing reliable and efficient distributed systems. By selecting the right systems and configurations, we can better meet the specific needs of different applications. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Byte Vigor channel. I'll keep bringing you more great content on system design. See you in the next lesson.